This is Dr. Susan Thrall. This module is on accumulators in Visual Basic. An accumulator is a running total. Imagine you were in a grocery store and you wanted to keep track of how much you were spending as you started putting items into your grocery cart. You start out at zero and then let's say you add a gallon of milk to your cart and the gallon of milk costs three dollars. So starting at zero you add the three dollar gallon of milk and you end up with a running total of three dollars. Going down the aisle the next thing you add is a two dollar bag of chips. So you had three dollars with the milk now you're adding two dollars to it for a total of five. This is how you keep a running total. There are two things you are adding together. The total that you're keeping in your head and each item as you're adding it to the cart. So each individual item is being added to the running total. The running total changes continuously as you add items to the cart. Now let's analyze this accumulator idea with the program commission calculator. Before you, you see the commission calculator form and down at the bottom are total commissions paid out and underneath that we will keep track of the total commissions we pay to our salespeople. We will calculate the total commissions each time we calculate an individual commission. So let's look at the programming behind this. Up in the top of our procedure we have a declaration of commission total decimal. That's our accumulator or that's our running total called commission total decimal. Now what are we adding to it? We're adding the individual commission decimal that we calculate. So here in the procedure is where we calculate the commission. Each individual commission is called commission decimal and that's going to be added to our commission total decimal. Here is the line where we accumulate and this is only one way of writing it. So we take our commission total as it is so far add our commission for the individual salesperson to it to get our new total, our new commission total. We could also write this as commission total decimal plus equals commission decimal. So the two items that we're adding together are the running total and the individual commission. Adding these two together will give us our new total. However, there is an error here, so watch for it when we run the program. All right, let's say our first salesperson sold $7,000 and we calculate the commission. We have one commission paid. The total commissions paid out so far is $700, which is exactly the commission earned. Clear that out. Notice we don't clear the number of commissions paid, nor do we clear out our running total. We want to keep that running total. Now let's say the next salesperson sold $5,000 worth. Calculate that next commission as $500. But what happened here? Our total commissions paid out should be the previous $700 plus this $500. Obviously, this is not working. So let's exit the program and go back and analyze it. As you know, variables you declare inside a procedure are local to that procedure. So we're declaring commission total decimal inside the procedure where we're calculating the commission. But each time we calculate the commission, this total is set back to zero. That's not what we want. We want to keep a running total. We don't want to go back to zero each time. So let's cut this line out of here. Where do we place it? To keep a running total, we place it up in the form level or module level. So I'm going to paste it here. And right here I have commission total decimal, that's our accumulator, our running total, in module level. And I'm going to change the dim to private. And this is a subject of another module. All right, now let's run it again. See if it works this time. 
All right, let's start off with our first salesperson at $7,000 sales. $700 commission, that's correct. One commission paid out. Clear that out. Go to our second salesperson, $5,000 worth of sales. Calculate the commission. We have now two commissions paid out, and now our running total or accumulator is correct. The previous 700 plus this 500 equals 1,200. Let's clear it out. Try one more. So our next salesperson sold $3,000 worth. Sales commission earned is 150. 1,200 plus 150 gives us our running total of 1,350 and we had three commissions paid out. So by moving our declaration of our running total, our accumulator, commission total decimal, to form level, we were able to continually keep track of our total. When you program an accumulator, declare it at module level, but calculate it in the routine or procedure where it should be calculated. Notice as this procedure is getting more and more complicated, I have started adding comments to explain what's happening. So right here I have add the commission to the running total and here is the line that does that. And that's how you do an accumulator in Visual Basic.